He's a musician, singer, and songwriter who made global history as the first black artist to be played on white radio stations in South Africa during the apartheid era. Wow. A man who describes himself as someone who was born poor but richly blessed with talent and the gift of music. He's forging forward and full speed ahead with a new album and holiday tour. Please enjoy the sounds of Jonathan Butler. Yes. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just for some, but for every, everyone. Oh Lord, we don't need, we don't need another mountain. There are mountains and hillsides enough to climb. There are oceans and rivers enough to cross. Listen, Lord, if you want to know what the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little love. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. No, not just, just for some, but for every, everyone. What the world needs now. Oops, oops. Look at you. Well, thank you. That was just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so You're much. Welcome. We're so happy to have You're you welcome. down to the How circle. are you? Nice to meet you, too. Yes. Good. Nice to meet you, too. Please have a seat. Sure. Get Can I put this guy down over here? Oh, yes, absolutely. My God, that there sound was so beautiful. Thank you. Thank, yes. you. thank you. Thank you. Early in the morning. Yeah. Oh, and it, it was just fine with me. <laughs> yes. 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 Thanks so much. So, Jonathan, you have recently taken to the sport of golf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is your season. Yeah. What does golf do for you? I, I like to say, uh, uh, what did I used to say? Jesus saved me, but golf really, really? <laughs> changed me. Come on, golf and Jesus. Because, uh, you know, I, yeah, it's crazy. I hated this uh, sport in, in South Africa growing mm -hmm. up. I mean, we had the legends of Gary Player and Ernie Els, and, you know, and I hated everything about golf. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. But about five years ago, I was in Sacramento with my dentist, and um, he took me out on the golf course, and uh, it was all right-handed, and I'm left-handed. Mm -hmm. So I ended up trying right-handed, mm -hmm. and uh, he thought I needed it. Mm. So, and I'd gone through a divorce, so, you know. Yeah, you gotta do something so when I you go through So I was married for 30 years, and then uh, our beautiful daughters was 34 and 30, and a granddaughter. So the golf actually just was an amazing thing that God said, you need this. Yeah. yeah. And so now I wake up at 6 a.m. and I get dressed and I go play golf. Yeah. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah. wow. Very yeah. peaceful for you. It's awesome. It's yeah. so peaceful. It's a uh, time to reflect and appreciate, you Absolutely. know, Absolutely. nature and everything. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of appreciation, I was reading your story and it is very powerful. Mm. Uh, you were coming up during the times of apartheid. Yes, yes. All right, yes, where yes. Uh, you endured a lot of challenges. Yes. Uh, at the age, well, first of all, you come from a family of 12. You're the youngest yes. of 12, Maya. okay? Yes. Uh, you begin singing uh. at seven and your first Grammy in South Africa at 12. 12 mm. years old, oh my yeah. God. yeah. When did you know that you were special and had a natural knack for music? Well, let me tell you a funny story uh, about feeling special uh, yes. in my family. We were all musicians. Oh, wow. uh, the first time my parents put me on stage, I was seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my mother used to promote us locally in the community. 
So one of my favorite artists, uh, I thought this guy was a black man. It was Tom Jones singing Delilah on the radio. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that Tom became Jones. my favorite song. And this particular Friday night, I was performing for my family in the community Civic Hall. And uh, people in Africa, they really like you. Yes. They'll throw money on stage. All right then. So um, I don't know what got over me, the Holy Spirit or something, but I, when the chorus came, I sang the Delilah part. Uh -huh. And I fell on my knees with the microphone and people threw money on the stage. Wow. So I stopped singing and picked up my money and ran away. <laughs> this is this seven years old. And I figured that's when I knew God had called me to, uh, to do what I do. But it was, it was so in me, you know, I, we were very poor. And so music yeah. was, is, was our way of entertaining yes. each other. And, mm -hmm. uh, and we were humorous uh, through poverty. We were very humorous. We laughed a lot. And, yeah. uh, but I, I guess, you know, it just happened to be the reason for everything is to, it was about survival. Music yeah. helped me support my mom and my yes. dad. So uh, let's, speaking of music, let's talk about this new album that you yeah. have close to you. What on this project is different from your previous uh, uh, projects or is there something that you've done specifically different in this project that you didn't do in the other projects? Yeah, this, but this new CD, I didn't have any, because I'd gone through such a, you know, a divorce for five years, I, mm. I didn't want to write songs about it. I just was going through life, my kids, and, and I was working a lot, touring all the time. Mm -hmm. And then this particular song, Close to You, the title track, mm -hmm. I played it for my friends and my kids were home on a Friday night, my fiance, now fiance, mm -hmm. she's a violinist, and so she played the violin and we, that's how it came about. Mm -hmm. And then I knew I need to do a songbook album Actually, I called that guy, my manager, I said, listen, I want to make this song with mm -hmm. record. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to have any Jonathan Butler write, you know, original mm -hmm. songs in it. Because it's just music that is timeless, right. it's beautiful. Right.